Okay, so uh, vegan, the vegan world, a few facts. Um, first of all, today, vegan world weights over $14 billion around the world. Um, between 2019 and 2020, it went up from uh, 14 million to almost 16, million, $16 billion. Uh, it's a big increase, over a 10% increase in one year. It is projected to arrive in 2026, over 30 billion. So uh, it is more than just a trend. It's, it's a way to eat that it's growing and something that's most likely will stay for a long time. So um, we're gonna go through a, a, a few techniques, few dessert. Uh, Sylvain here uh, for you to know, we <laughs> don't really know him. Been in the US for many years. So he was born in Amiens, Picardy. It's the north of France. He arrived in 1987 in the US, worked for over 10 years as a corporate chef for Varona. Uh, and he's been with us in Paris Gourmet for oh, all, decade, over 10 years. Yeah. yeah. Um, so Sylvain will go through uh, all the dessert. Before he does so, I just want to let you know that we are recorded. And everything that we're going to go through today will be available later on uh, on the internet. We'll give you the information later. Uh, if you want to ask any question, please do so. Do not unmute yourself, please. Uh, just put your question in the chat. Be a little patient, and I will ask the chef uh, as soon as I, I can. Um, and all the recipe will be emailed to you after the webinars. So do not hesitate to reach out if you need that. Be uh, available online. And be available online. Exactly. So, uh, Sylvain? Thank you, Laurent. Thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you uh, to be here. Let me work with vegan, actually. It's very interesting because uh, I have to say this is my first vegan seminar. All one demonstration I've been done in the past, and this is the first time I've been play with vegan. And I want to do something different, just like a fruit plate. Vegan is a different world. I learned a lot for the last couple of weeks. And to be uh, my specialty of chocolate, I'm going to play a lot with chocolate and vegan. Today, I want to introduce two very specific items that Parigo may carry about vegan products. First is a vegan preparation mix. This uh, preparation is a mix of sugar, wheat flour, cornstarch, natural flavor, zatan gum, and citric acid. The way to do it actually is to become like a powder form. Mm -hmm. What is very important is to add vegetable oil or uh, olive oil. First, the right amount of water to be 68 degrees. A little bit of vegetable oil or olive oil. Whip it with a paddle just for a few minutes. There we are. And it's very, very interesting because today I'm going to do like a, just a very beautiful cupcake, but it's great substitute to make like a, any kind of wedding cake, actually, you know? So nice and sure. I'm sorry about the noise. Be sure we get all the ingredients mixed properly. Scrap it. and adding the second amount of water. Here we get a different application for this mix. Uh, actually, we uh, mix and also we can do a red velvet, you know. That is nice. Today, actually, I did the chocolate and the plain vanilla. Mm -hmm. So nice and smooth. Silver? I have Sally who's asking what kind of batter is it? The batter is a vegan uh, batter, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's the vegan yeah, yeah. mix. Right. So we got nice and smooth. And the beauty of this, you can really incorporate any kind of flavor. I mean, it's like a, that chocolate, you can use coffee extract, you can use, yeah, you can use a pistachio. 
And how are we gonna do? Actually, when the mix is done, I cook it in a small form like this. Convection oven at 360 degrees and we bake it between 12 to 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. I just want to show you the texture of the butter, you know, nice and smooth. Ready to scoop it. And there we are. Between 12 to 15 minutes and we'll be done. Mm -hmm. Great uh, addition. The second item for, from Paris Gourmet, actually, we got like a vegan block butter like this. Not only available in bulk like that, so today I'm going to use it for uh, sable dough and also for buttercream. But the beauty of this uh, vegan butter, we got it also on the form of beurre de tourage, vegan beurre de tourage. So that's for any use of lamination, laminate dough. You know, that like croissant puff pastry or brioche. Great item, great item. So the trick about this one, uh, this recipe, I discovered something amazing. Aqua faba, you know. Produce of chickpeas. Mm -hmm. And the commercial, like we say in Miami, is Guaya. So that means supposed to be good. <laughs> so the idea of this is to get this magic juice right there. And with this, you can do actually any kind of meringue application. It works very well for macaroon, if you want to do macaroon. So here I'm going to use a technique about what we call Italian meringue. So, cook sugar. You can start to whip also the egg, uh, the, not the egg whites, the, the aqua faba juice. It will take probably around 10 minutes to do that. Uh, Sylvain, in the meantime, can you show what's inside the box, the mix? The mix. I want to see the powder, yeah. The powder is a bag. A powder like this, you know. It became plain. It became plain. Adding cocoa powder, you can do a chocolate uh, preparation. Using a little bit of uh, red color, you can do like a red velvet preparation. But it's very natural flavor. And use a little bit of on the top. The beauty about Italian meringue, Technically, you can substitute the water and replace it by any kind of fruit puree. So you can do raspberry meringue flavor, you can do passion, you can do mango, you can do all very nice flavoring uh, meringue using the substitute of the water to the sugar by fruit puree. In the same time early, I did the sable dough I'm using the block of vegan butter, replace the egg by the egg replacer like that. It's very, very nice actually. You're adding water to this powder and you replace the eggs. And you get a very nice, you know, sable dough. You know, the technique to get a nice sable dough, always use like a play dough. It will never stick on a marble. They are very nice. So I did a little. Uh, Sorry to do a tart later on. So using uh, nutty farm almond flour, you can add some coffee. Add coffee. Ground coffee actually is very nice to get a nice flavor. You can do also chocolate flavor. You have a lot of application, you know. Mm -hmm. 
do be creative. This is what the beauty about pastry. Mm. It's not just think about an ingredient. You think about what you can do to it. Mm. Bring. Yeah. It's true, began became a little the trend because now any kind of uh, at least one vegan dessert is on the on the menu and also on the buffet. So you get all the different kind of very tart shell and stuff like this. Coming out, start to boil. So we got here, the block of vegan butter, but most of the time people using like a sweet snakes or crystal, and that's the question of this. Very, very high, nice texture of vegan butter. Okay, the syrups at the bowl. And you see the texture of the aquafaba? You see the texture of that? I mean, is that a nice? Belch color. The beauty of this compared to an egg white, you can over over whip it and it became lumpy, you know. Spot addiction, right? There we are, it's coming up. Any questions so far, Laurent? No? No, I think you're, you're being very good, so everybody understands. <laughs> <laughs> coming up, perfect. Start to boil the sugar, it's gonna be quick, you know? But it's very important for you, you see it from scratch, you know? I have a question from Sally who's asking, what are we exactly doing right now? Then she missed the Right now part. I'm making um, Italian meringue for the buttercream, for yes. the frosting. For the frosting. Yeah. Technically with your aquafaba, you can do two different kinds of meringue, especially for the buttercream. Swiss meringue and Italian meringue. Can you please show the vegan products what what it, what it is on the with the box? So what well, here actually the bulk the block of vegan products. This is actually the box of it, and it's coming like a four pound of um, twenty five hundred. Can, can you show the label? And the label, but I got the label. Yeah. There we go. But you can show this one actually. You get right here, you know. It's so long. So for all of you who are following uh, the webinar right now, just don't worry if you're missing a few things about the products, information or other things. At the end, we will send you all, all the recipe with the product information. Uh, so there's no problem on that. Yeah, we will talking about uh, for almost six, seven recipe altogether. So they will be available online, you know. I'll text you over there. Okay. 
So I gonna cook the sugar. To 123rd, so it will be like almost 240 Fahrenheit. Uh, Sylvain, can you give some information about the vegan butter? What is it made of? Uh, the composition the of The vegan it? butter is 80% of it or oil, 20% of water. Okay. You know, and that's it. The start. The sugar start to warm it up. And the beauty about the aquafaba, like I say, you can over whip it. It never became lumpy. Very nice. Very interesting, actually. Pack it up. Uh, Sylvain, I have a question. How do you store the vegan butter? What is the Home temperature? No cooler, no freezer, room temperature. It always became actually, you see the texture, very nice and soft. You know, if you put it in a cooler or in a freezer, it's going to break. You never get a nice creamy texture. Like. So it, it must be stored on a uh, room temperature. Room temperature. Can you show the texture of the meringue right now? It's coming very nice, actually. It's funny because the aquafaba, it became, and you get a very natural flavor of it. Very interesting, you know. Okay. up we'll say a couple more minutes and we'll be ready to uh to add the sugar syrup because all the time you're mixing sugar with water you become a syrup you know not a caramel actually caramel is a dry sugar So how many ingredients are being used uh, for this specific recipe? Actually, here I got the bulk vegan butter, the aquafaba, a little bit of creme de tarte, creme of tarte, sugar, and water. So it's a very simple recipe. Simplicity is the most difficult thing to do. You know, you can always have a, try to have a pitch of this, pitch of that, but the chemical pastry is to be very precise. Actually, the best one of the pastry chef is uh, what you call my scale, the balance. Uh, I don't have it. And the thermometer. And when the buttercream is done, you can keep it just a room temperature for a couple of days or keep it in a cooler, but at all, it will make time to have the best thing is to keep it room temperature. How long is the meringue uh, needs to whip to get to the right texture? You know, between the start of the syrup and the meringue, I would say 12 to 15 minutes. You know, it's what we take 12 to 15 minutes to cook properly the, the sugar. So I have a question here coming from Sally asking if the aquafaba is sold separately. No, it's a drain of the can of. Um, uh, chickpeas. chickpeas, yeah, correct. I mean, you can find chickpeas everywhere. A uh, different brand, actually, when you're going to. Yeah, I don't know, it's gelatin. The first stop. Have to be a sponsor by Goya, you know. <laughs> so I have a question here. Um, how would you compare the taste 
profile of what you're making right now comparable to one that's vegan. So one vegan, one non-vegan, is it like really a big difference in taste? Uh, you know, of course, if you can compare bulk of vegan butter to regular butter, I mean, it's like all the dairy on it. But actually, I'm very surprised because of the vegetable flavor of the butter, you know. Mm. Coming from Picardy, I grew up with uh, butter. So it's like, uh, it's hard to substitute, but I was very surprised. I did a couple tests and I was very surprised about the result, you know. The same, the butter, it's not because it's appellation butter, they get always good butter. The butter has to be very rich, at least 82 to 83%, you know, very nice and creamy. Almost there. This is one part of the rest of the recipe will be quick. So you see, I over whip now. I'm gonna full speed, but it's nice. I just want to show you some. I mean, look at the texture. Look at this. Very nice. You know, the texture is very nice and cool, like a bird pick. Mm -hmm. And it's like almost texture of, I would say, shaving cream. But uh, it's no lumpy at all. Getting there. Back to that for the brother. Something wrong with the spot. Almost done. Any more questions, Laurent? No? No, so far, everybody seemed to follow very well. Okay. Butter cream over there. Both of them. Yeah, yeah. The but the butter cream. Yeah. Both both of them. Okay, Laurent, you want to see that? I got
Why did you just put in a pot? So when the wine is cooling down, I could start to do the cream using a pot. I get in a little bit of pasta and sugar. So with this cream, we can do a beautiful pot de creme or just uh, let him set and I'm gonna finish a uh, chocolate tart with that, you know? So adding the butter, finish this. So that's going to take at least a few more minutes to cool down by adding the, the vegan butter and this is the texture of the buttercream you get when it's done, okay? So I'm going to put that on the side and show you the, the texture. Can I get a little spoon? There we are. You have a nice texture. Here are just adding some couverture to the chocolate and we get a nice chocolate couverture. So when the, the mug is cooled down, you have the butter and let it finish. Okay. I'm going to stop that to put that on the side. Well, actually, you see that? There we are. So we get here, we finish it with the butter. butter cream. So you apparently you were cutting off a little bit. What did you put on the stove? What what is that you put on the stove? I'm going for the second recipe. So no, no, the first one. What did you put before? What what was the, it? Was a syrup, and then what was the milk? It was a kind of like oat milk. Oat milk. Oat milk. I'm using to make my chocolate cream. Mm. So it start to boil a little bit. So Here, another adding, question. Adding the sugar with the cornstarch and bake it. Why would you use oat milk instead of soy milk? Actually, the flavor profile, I like, be I like better the flavor profile of the oat milk than the rice milk or soy milk, you know. So it's all about flavor. Yeah, yeah. Nothing uh, to do with this is my personal... Uh, Flavor profile. I mean, I try it, but the texture and the flavor profile. I like. I recommend actually to use uh, hot milk if you want to do any kind of ice cream. It's very very nice. You see, always keep the recipe very simple. Just few ingredients. Here, I'm using hot milk. Sugar, cornstarch, chocolate, you know. The chocolate, I'm using actually the couverture from the Noel line. And here I'm using the bittersweet, the 64%, you know. So any dark chocolate actually is considered vegan because it's only chocolate, cocoa butter. And um, we don't have a vegan chocolate, so that's especially the, the milk. Most of the vegan chocolate on the market, they substitute the meat powder by the rice flour powder. Red dark chocolate gives you a beautiful, beautiful flavor, actually. We can go all the way up to 72%. Uh, Consider semi sweet chocolate is every chocolate over 53%. When I'm talking about the percentage, it's why here. On the bag, what we see, example, 58.5, this is the percentage of the cocoa paste inside your chocolate. 
does Noel uh, Couverture chocolate have solicitin in it? Like sunflower lecithin. Sunflower. Sunflower lecithin. So there's no soy lecithin. No soy lecithin. Very good point, actually. So you see the composition of the cream start to be a little bit uh, starchy. I mean, any with your aquafaba, you'll be surprised. I test, uh, we try the macaron. We do a chocolate souffle, it works very well. I mean, it's like a... There we go. So you see the boiling point. So what you do now, I need the smell, smell good. Adding a little bit of the cream. So anytime when you bring liquid to the chocolate is what we call ganache. So ganache technically is chocolate with water. Water can come from the milk, can come from the fruit puree. And what we do, you know, ganache compare, I would say mayonnaise because this same technique, we're using an emulsion. We bring the fat to meet the, the water. Here the fat, of course, from the cocoa butter. And you see right away, I got a nice consistency. See, look at that, chocolate mayonnaise right here. Look at the beautiful texture. You know, that is a very nice emulsion. So actually at this point, before we start to set, you know, you can add that, you can do a chocolate creme brulee. You know, just adding to the small ramequin, let him set because he will set. I will show you the final result. And um, beautiful little pot de crème, chocolate pot de crème. And there we are. The next recipe, Laurent, I'm gonna do actually uh, very interesting uh, recipe we call chocolate so semi dem you said chocolate jelly chocolate jelly yes so using all milk here i got some sugar and a pectin thermo reversible Can you show the pectin on the camera, please? Cuisine tech. Uh, so most of, actually in the world of vegan, it's very hard to use gelatin. Not too many gelatin we can use. Agar agar and the pectin. And actually the interesting comparison between agar agar and the pectin reversible, you can freeze it. You not be able to freeze it because it will break down. Mm -hmm. So for this um, chocolate jelly, uh, I just took a couple of beautiful pitches. So I will only go a pitch uh, gazpacho with tarragon. So here again, I'm using the Royal 64% uh, from Coco Noel. You know, I like a nice bit of sweet chocolate for this kind of jelly. And also it gives you a very, very nice uh, color. Mm. So 
I just fix it here, the baking with the sugar. I recommend to do that because if you're just adding the sugar directly to the liquid, it will be lumpy and the lump will never be dissolved. The same when you do a fruit jelly, always do properly mixing the sugar with your picking together, you know. Oh, yeah. Put that over there. I love chocolate. So many things you can do with chocolate, you know. I born like a French. I got blood and a French one over there, and I got chocolate on the other hand. Yeah. After you can really use a different percentage of chocolate. Uh, I mean, uh, just uh, be careful not to using the same amount because of percentage of chocolate. So decrease it a bit the, the volume of it. Any question, Laurent? No? No, we have uh -huh. a lot of questions regarding the product's name and information. As, as we said, we, we're going to put at the end of the, the webinar all the products, uh, product codes. Yeah, and uh, the recipe will be available online, but also the best thing to do is go to paisgourmet.com and you can yeah. see all the different items and the PDF are available to. Uh, but all of you who are currently assisting to this webinar, we will be sending you a direct email with all those information after the webinar so you have all the access and uh, please if any of you uh, is missed uh, let us know and we'll we'll make sure that we rectify that so can you just go back on what products are you using for this very recipe right now i'm using again the oat milk the oat milk sugar Thermo reversible pectin from Cuisine Tech and the Royal uh, Noel Couverture 64%. Mm -hmm. And if you want to give an extra flavor of the cream, actually using the cream milk, this, you can infuse like a roast of cocoa leaves. Uh, coffee is always very nice flavor to bring to the chocolate, you know. And if you can find a fresh oak, you roast it and it gives you an extra flavor to the, to the texture, it's very nice. Uh, chef, can you please let us know if it's more complicated to make desserts, uh, vegan dessert, than to make regular dessert? Is it is it really? No, 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 no. You just know the chemistry of pastry. You need to know the ingredients. As simple as that. When you know the ingredient, you know what work with. I mean, like today, uh, I play with chocolate. You go to the theater and you always get the main character of the webinar today: chocolate. You can eat everything you want to the chocolate but choose to use the right amount of it, you know? Most of the time you can use, uh, I many time you eat a pastry, the two eggy, the oversweet, too much chocolate, you have to use the right balance of the ingredient, that's all. So pretty much are we, is it safe to say that any dessert that we would like to do, we like to make, there's always with the uh, ingredients available right you can now, always we find can work around. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I would say probably the most difficult uh, to replace is eggs, you know, because it's very hard, but I find this egg replacer, but most of the pastry actually, all the different recipes, I don't use any eggs, you know. There we are, so, putting, I think the pectin. So you just added the pectin to the oatmeal? Yeah, yeah. To activate the pectin, actually. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's very interesting texture. I really like the, this recipe. There we are. The same, adding the liquid, a little bit of the chocolate. Never add the full amount of liquid to the chocolate. You'll never be able to do a nice emulsion like this. 
the same when you do mayonnaise you never add all the oil on once to make the nice mayonnaise you know so you let the heat make thin the chocolate That is a nice chocolate flavor. Look at that. And finish it. And there we are the jelly. So after that, I'm gonna show you what I did. Happy one back. Some jelly. So now we can start to play around, you know. So to get to this form, how long did you live in the fridge? Can you see. So hot liquid like that, you know. So what I do technically, I wrap the ring with a plastic wrap and I pouring the jelly inside the ring, you know. And you leave it overnight? You will set overnight, absolutely. There we are. So what is this gazpacho made of? Actually, in a gazpacho right now, I got fresh peach, white and yellow. First, I blanch them to take off the skin. After I make a simple syrup, I cook them in a simple syrup and I use infuse a fresh tarragon. And here I got a little chocolate flame. What are you at right now? Right now I did like a, what we call chocolate caramel flame. I will send you the recipe just to get. And I did some fresh peach. The peach are perfect now.
There you are. And you get something uh, actually great for uh, the summertime, you know. Bon appétit. Parfait. The good. Mm. I'll show you also the finished cupcake. No, because here we got like a almond and chocolate. And I'm going to do my foot over there. Sorry. So this is actually the chocolate cream. Hmm? The chocolate cream that you did at first, right? Correct. So when it's warm, you can still have it in a small glass. So that also became a beautiful pot of creme. So this was made with the, the that is a, is a, vegan, yeah, right? is a, is a sable breton, yeah. The idea is to represent a little bit of uh, beautiful fruit like that. Get a little bit of this. It's nice and fresh. When you get a beautiful food, just play around and okay. So we have a question here. Um, what are the components 
are you assembling right now? Uh, you mentioned sablé. Is it made with vegan butter? Uh, the pot sablé, yes, vegan butter. So what, what we're going to do, I think, to clarify everything, we'll go per dessert, and you will just say all ingredients that were used for each dessert. Correct. So let's start with the cupcakes. Cupcake. So what were the products that you were using for it? Mm -hmm. So the cupcake here. We got the vegan mix, vanilla and chocolate. Okay, I show you the mix. Uh, the recipe is going to be available. After we did the buttercream, vegan buttercream, vanilla and chocolate. You know, here we got a chocolate jelly made with oat milk, uh, pectin thermo reversible, sugar and uh, royal sixty four Noel. Here we got a tart with fresh berry. Base of uh, sablé, um, vanilla sablé made with uh, the vegan uh, bulk butter. I use uh, the replacer eggs to substitute from the fresh eggs, uh, almond flour, sugar, and uh, vanilla beans. We need the chocolate cream crème with all milk uh, and a little bit of cornstarch and sugar, and finish also with a Noël uh, Royal 64. Mm -hmm. Great. Any question? No, so far we're probably gonna give a, a, a minute or two to see if you, any one of you have any question, uh, please don't hesitate. Uh, Sylvain loves to answer any question you have. It's always nice to get a bit fresh food and to get up. What are the shelf life for those desserts uh, as you make it? I'm sorry? From now on, how, what's the shelf life on those products? Um, you know, I will say it's a fresh dessert. So that is really kind of this, you finish it. It's like a restaurant dessert, you finish it at a minute. And uh, for example, this for the creme, I will say maybe two days in a cooler and you finish it with fresh fruit when you're ready to eat it. The cupcake, the say the frosting, no more than two days, you know. Great, so we don't have any more questions. Oh. Fantastic, so I know what I'm gonna eat right now. <laughs> um, all right, so thank you everyone to uh, follow the webinar. So just to, uh, before we, we uh, let you go, um, we just want to let you know that we're not trying to make people change from the regular desserts to vegan desserts. It, it is an addition. It is, as we mentioned, it's a, a huge market. Uh, it's an existing market, and there are a lot of options. Some overwhelming uh, techniques, but at the end, the result is pretty good. Uh, and. We were, we, we were surprised. Very nice surprise, actually. We are all of the desserts, and uh, it's, it's possible to do tastes uh, with those ingredients. So um, Paris Gourmet ran several webinars. Thank you to be part of this one. Uh, please stay tuned uh, for the next webinar. We'll definitely let you know. Uh, I believe that your next one will be on chocolate, correct? Correct, yeah. Perfect. So we will let you all know. Uh, and if you have any questions, do not hesitate. Uh, reach out to us. Uh, parisgourmet.com is the great source of information about the products or you can reach out to any of us in the company we'll be happy to assist i want to thank again uh, mariano moreno culinary institute to uh, to give us the great installation uh, fantastic uh, culinary school here in miami for gable and uh, and i hope everybody uh, doing well uh, stay hungry and stay safe thank you thank you, right, thank you.